In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the set command in Minecraft World Edit. Here are some timestamps to help you find what you're looking for, and there are some more detailed ones in the description. First, you need to select your region. I made a video on this which also tells you how to use the slash slash cell command to select more advanced shapes than just cubes. I'll link that video in the description, and it's also in the top right hand corner of your screen now. Once you've selected your region, all you need to do is type slash slash set, followed by the block that you want to set the region to. Typing a list of blocks with commas between them and no spaces will randomly set the area to an even distribution of all of these blocks. If you want to more tightly control the distribution of blocks within that randomness, then you can type percentages before the block that you type. For example, 90% dirt, 10% gravel. These percentages also, weirdly, don't have to add up to 100. They are weighted against each other, meaning that you can have 100% dirt, or 200% dirt, and 10% gravel. If you add a percentage to some things on the list, but not to all of them, the things that you don't add a percentage to will still be mixed in with the randomness, however there will only be a very small amount of them present. Before we delve into the more advanced aspects of the set command, I have loads of videos on this channel that showcase world edit in action by building huge mega builds, and if that sounds like something you're interested in, it would really mean a lot to me if you'd go and check them out. For blocks that have different block states, for example logs which can face in different directions, fences which can have different connections, blocks that can be waterlogged, slabbed which can be top, bottom or double, you can choose which block state they're in by putting square brackets after the block followed by the block state, for example for logs axis equals x y or z for which direction they're facing it. On screen now are some more specific examples of block states that you might want to change. Feel free to pause the video to have a look at those. You can list a block more than once in a list of blocks with different block states if you want to have a more controlled or random assortment of for example x and y oak logs. Or if you want a random assortment of all the different block states then you can put a star before the block name and that will give you a random assortment of all of the different types. However, this does include waterlogged, so be careful with that if you're doing a block that can be waterlogged. If you're a big fan of randomness, then you can also set your selection to a certain tag. For example, the wool tag, which will set your selection to all different types of randomly assorted wool. There are so many different tags in the game that it's impossible for me to list all of them here, but here are some that you might find interesting. When typing in your tag, type hashtag hashtag followed by the tag name, and if you want a random assortment of the block state of the blocks within the tag, you can also put a star after the double hashtag but before the tag name to make a random assortment of that block, just like you would with any other block, but here you put it after the double hashtag. You can have a list of tags just like you can with any other block type, and while Minecraft has an incredible range of tags already, Datapack can also add new tags which you can use with World Edit. If you're finding this video helpful, then leaving a like on it is free, it really helps me out, and it also helps other people who might be struggling to find this video too. You can also set an area to whatever you have copied to your clipboard using the slash slash copy command. And if you need to know how to use that command, I have a video which is up in the top right hand corner of your screen and also down below. It also covers the slash slash paste command and the slash slash schematic command, which you might find really useful for copying between worlds. Once you've got something copied or you've loaded a schematic, you can type slash slash set hashtag clipboard and it will set the region to your clipboard repeated over and over again as many times as it needs to to fill the area. If you find that your clipboard is a little bit misaligned compared to your region, you can adjust this using slash slash set hashtag clipboard at followed by in square brackets your x, y and z adjustments with commas between them in the square brackets. For example, moving it one block forwards in the x direction, one block down in the y direction and keeping it where it is in the z direction. You can also use the set command to change all of the block states of every block in the region at once by using slash slash set and then an up arrow followed by the block state in square brackets. For example, slash slash set up arrow square brackets waterlogged equals false will make every block in the area not waterlogged. You can also use the block arrow and then the block that you want to set the region to to preserve the block states of the blocks already in the region. For example, here when I've 
have done this writing in stairs, when I set the region to stairs, it will keep those stairs in the orientation they were before I used the set command. However, most of the time, you're gonna wanna use slash slash replace to do this same thing using the up arrow. Signs, spawners, and player heads all have special interactions with the set command. You can use the set command to create signs with text on them. You type slash slash set and then a type of sign, for example, oak sign. Then you type a line symbol. Now on a standard keyboard, this can be found next to the left shift key, but I'll also leave one of these symbols in the description in case your keyboard doesn't have that key. After the line symbol, you type the text that you want to be on that line, then you type another line symbol and the text you want to be on the next line, and signs can have up to four lines of text on them. If you want to have spaces between the text on your lines, you'll have to put the entire thing in quotation marks, and that includes the oak sign. So that would be quotation marks, oak sign, and then a line, and then the text you want on the first line, then another line, and the text you want on the second line, third line, fourth line, etc, and then quotation mark at the end. You can also use square brackets before putting the line for the text, for example, a oak sign, and then square brackets facing equals north, close square brackets, then the line, and then the text that you want to put on the sign. However, if that text has spaces between it, you still need to have the quotation marks encompassing the entire thing, including the beginning where it says oak sign and the block state. Please be aware that in some versions of World Edit, including the version that I'm recording this on, this feature is broken, and you might see this strange command style thing on the text on the sign, and that is probably just because of some recent changes that Mojang has made to how texts work, and it would probably be fixed in future versions of World Edit if you're watching this in the future. Next up is setting to custom player heads, and also be aware that in some versions of World Edit, this feature is also broken, including the one that I'm recording in, however usually you would type slash slash set player head, then a line symbol, and then the name of the player whose head you want to set the region to. If you want to set the region to heads that are on a wall, that is actually a different block to the player head, so you would have to type slash slash set player underscore wall underscore head, and then the name of the player that you want to set it to. And the final thing that is special about the set command is you can set areas to spawners, and if you want those spawners to have a certain mob in them, you type slash slash set spawner, and then a line symbol, and then type the mob that you want the spawner to be for. For example, slash slash set spawner line symbol pig. But the set command can be so much more powerful than anything we've discussed in this video so far. And it all comes down to the secret of how you select your region, and if you want to know that secret then click on this video on screen now. Whether you're a complete beginner to world edit or a world edit master, I promise there's a good chance that you'll learn something new watching this video. So what are you waiting for? Go and learn the secret!